Yes, it's a, been a short flight over from the UK out of Liverpool Airport into Faroe Airport. Half an hour, 35 minutes, and I'm at Amandwera and I'm in 18, 19 degrees worth of heat. Jumper is coming off very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different. This resort looks pretty decent. Like I said, just arrived here half an hour ago and we'll have a look around as we go. But what I intend to do is something that I keep asking myself the question. I seem to be playing half decent golf. I can do a three hole challenge reasonably well, but I can never really put it together for long stretches. So why can I not play to a better standard than I am? My handicap's going the other way. And what we're gonna do this week is I'm gonna take on two challenges. I'm gonna break it up into two loops of nine, both on the O'Connor course, which is where we're gonna to start today, and then onto the Faldo course, and see if I can shoot anywhere near par for nine holes. Yeah, so what's the idea behind it? Well, it's simple. Uh, I play a lot of golf, but I tend to play, I'm always reviewing clubs, I'm playing three or four holes, I'm paying more attention to the video, and even in Man vs Golf Hole Challenge, I'm trying to show you around the golf course, and hopefully I'll do that again today, but we're gonna do it a different way. So the test is, put myself in a position where I'm looking to score for nine holes, how much does that switch on the mind, and how much is that playing a major part in why my golf is deteriorating, in terms of being able to put a score together. So what I'm gonna try and do, is knowing that that is the ultimate aim is to score as best as I can. I know that sounds obvious, but I don't do it very often. I'm trying to take my time over each shot, make sure I select the right club, make sure I get the yardages out of the uh, range finder, which again is something I often skip. I want to try and do it properly and see how we get on, hole by hole. I'll record nine holes, I'll record every shot. You'll see them in a fairly fast sequence and we'll have a chat in between and uh, see how I go. I don't know, it's interesting. I mean, we're sort of uh, fifth hole in and uh, that's the kind of shot where normally I probably wouldn't get a yardage. Uh, sun's in my eyes now, as you can see. I'd sort of step up to straight away, got a yardage, took a bit of time on it. Again, looked at where I was sort of starting the ball off and where I wanted it to finish. And I did it, you know, and it does beg the question. Um, I think my concentration levels are somewhat poor. Well, that's just avoided the bunker down the right hand side, gone past them two on the right. Um, a little bit scared of going too far left. And I think that again is something that I've got in my game. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say what I've got in my game, just a little bit over cautious at times. So I don't know what's left. I assume it's not too good. So again, rather than play the proper shot, just bottle it a little bit, I suppose, and uh, leak it out down that right hand side. And it just shows again, you've got to commit. I've just did a great shot 
off the previous hole on four, by the way. I was getting a little excited. This is the fifth tee. But again, if you don't commit to that shot, then uh, it's pointless standing up there and doing it, but it's very hard to do. And especially when a confidence starts to dip a little bit. Right, so before I play this shot, what I want to know is what's wrong with your game? Where do you think you could sharpen up? Because uh, what I'm going to ask you to do at the end of all this is uh, evaluate my game and see where it uh, goes right or wrong. But for your own personal experience, what part of the game do you think is lacking? Right, we're doing all right here. We could, we've got a bit of a chance. If we put this one close and have a bit of a putt, because I've had a few putts of getting that drop shot back. And uh, this is where I certainly need to be a bit sharper. That's another chance, another chance at a putt to try and get that one back that I dropped at the first, a par five of all holes. Right, so what have I found out so far? Well, what I'm finding out is that I, I need to concentrate. That's the biggest thing so far, is that uh, I'm taking a lot more time than I normally would uh, in any game of golf. Um, because the camera's on, it's adding that little bit of pressure. But it's making me stop and think. And like I said, I do it in the three-hole man versus golf hole challenge. But to do it over nine holes in this stage, and that's a long way from doing it over 18, but that put there has just got me back to that level and uh, see if I can maintain it. But I know I'm having to try hard. I'm having to concentrate hard. And... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very in myself at the moment and it's difficult to keep stopping and talking to camera to try and keep this going, but we're doing all right so far. What I'm finding is when um, when things go wrong or when I hit a bad shot, that was probably, it's done better than it should have in all honesty. But uh, what it tends to be, it tends to be, again, more the mental side, so indecision. So we had water to carry. Um, I was kind of in between clubs and I went with the bigger of the two clubs and then sort of failed to commit it a bit of half a shot. I don't know whether we can see that, whether that's recognisable on the video or not, I don't know. But again, it's more mindset uh, rather than execution. Get the, get the head right before you hit the shot. And I've left myself quite a bit of distance all uphill this one. And from where I was, one, three, six out, it should have been, well, this is where it should have been closer. And after uh, a last little wobble. Go on then, go on then. Oh, <laughs> that'd have been some way to bounce back after that flipping three putt on the last, which has annoyed me. Anyway, um, yeah, it was a difficult two putt that, and assuming I can make that one. There we go. So still one over. I'm not too sure how this video will go down. Like I said, it's, it's almost a selfish video, but what I'm hoping is that... Uh, by me sort of experiencing these things, finding out through the game. So I'd like to continue this series uh, through a number of nine holes and that way it gets me playing some serious golf. But like I said, if we're both able to learn along the way, little bits and pieces that perhaps we're doing on a Saturday morning or in a medal comp that is recognisable when you stop and break it down, which to be honest with you, like I said, I never do. or I haven't done for a long time anyway. I don't take golf perhaps as serious as I should do. But what I'm noticing, like I said, is that... Uh, 
so much of my own situation is down to mentality. Huge, huge part is down to the way in which the brain is engaging. And whether that be shot selection, whether that be negativity in terms of veering too far away from trouble rather than committing to things. But that's the thing I've noticed throughout, even towards the latter part of the round. When I missed the, the, the three put again was, again, it's not a mindset, but it's not concentrating because I literally walked up to the ball and just stabbed it in the hole and missed. And uh, again, lack of concentration. So it's played a huge part. But what I have seen is that, you know, when I stand up and take my time and commit to a shot, I can play the shot. It's about stringing them together and making a score. We've got one to go anyway. So the other thing I've learned as well, uh, one last thing, I don't want to waffle on too much, but it's about warming up because I would say that, you know, three holes in before I started to commit to shots and I didn't get warmed up today. And it's a massive thing that I don't do. And I think that we all got to do if we're going to take the game serious. Right, black and white marker is the line because you don't want to go left as water and we've got three bunkers right. So it looks like it's a decent closing hole. So what I'm going to aim at is the corner of the water with a bit of cut, which, like I said, I've been committing to it. And absolutely finish that one off again. What a difference it makes just to commit. Hopefully you can pick that up in the sky. That's cut back in, it's middle of the fairway, and uh, I'm really happy with that, to be honest with you. It's been a real interesting learning curve for me. Sorry if it's been boring for everyone else got 160 in uh, I'm only seven iron which uh, it should be nice and easy seven to be honest with you there's a bunker right in front of the flag so again let's get this right nice I just cut it a bit too much again off that bunker hopefully it makes the front side of the green and it did long way from the flag but uh, yeah it was okay Right, okay, so round was finished and uh, it's actually day two because what I've done is I've took the time to watch the footage back and uh, sort of evaluate the round uh, in full before I give my opinion and then you can give yours. Uh, really interesting. I think a couple of things to mention which I uh, thought about later on is a, a slightly false environment in the sense that a, I was playing on my own, so no pressure from outside, uh, playing in front of others, that kind of thing. Um, the fairways were fairly generous, so again, um, you know, there's no tight tree-lined fairways, which again start to impact on your swing thoughts, maybe. So it's a slightly easier course to build a score. Um, so they're kind of false situations. And I played from yellow tees as well, so maybe slightly forward. But they're all the false environment issues. The positives were that all year, I've, um, and for the last few years, actually, I, I know that I've got the kind of shots in the bag. The thing is, it's about being able to execute them and put them all together in one round of golf and in 18 holes of golf because that's the other thing this is just nine holes of golf um, so like I said the purpose of the video was to try and put some pressure on at least uh, or at least accountability by switching the camera on and knowing that my target was to build a score over nine holes the very best I could and what that meant was although like I said about a false environment it put me under a little bit more pressure to take some time evaluate the shot have a few practice swings and try and execute what I was looking to do. So that really worked and it was a massive learning curve because what it clearly tells me is that um, in my general overall golf, and it's not a big deal to me, that's the other issue, is kind of like I play golf for fun, so it's not about scoring, but it's nice to know it's there if, you can, if, if need be. And I suppose realistically, I should be trying to get my handicap down. Um, but the that, yeah, I executed the shots and it was a great thing that um, concentration played. There was two major parts really. One was the warm-up situation. I found that within, th it was three holes before I was sort of swinging uh, fully and committed. And that's a major deal for, for me personally and I think for a lot of golfers, you have to warm up properly and be ready to go on that first tee. You can't take three holes to warm up. Arguably the card could be gone by then. And the second thing, and the biggest thing that I mentioned throughout the video was concentration. It's huge. And all the things that you're supposed to do in terms of visualizing shots and 
like I said, simple things like making sure you've got the exact yardage, getting that club selection right, analysing a bit of course management, where is the best place to leave the ball in terms of if you are going to miss, those kind of things. And, and, and the other thing, like I said, that I learned is from a personal level that what I've got to try and get uh, over is, is negativity in terms of uh, looking at shots and looking out for too much of the bailout area, too much of where I want to miss rather than being committed to the swing, committed to the shot. And I mentioned that on one of the par fours where I was too worried about going left that I actually pushed the shot right. And that again, it just does not work. That's not how to hit a golf shot. So it was a massive learning curve. I really enjoyed it. This morning, I am um, sat in Amandouera's uh, fitting centre, which is a, a great facility, unfortunately. Uh, the weather's a bit grim this morning, but what I'm going to do as part two of this video, and maybe more of a series is carry on, is I'm going to play another nine holes. This is uh, there's the Faldo course, Faldo design course, is the other course here at Amandouera. I'm going to play another nine holes. I'm going to do exactly the same and uh, see if, uh, if we can string another nine holes together, because overall, really, really pleased with how I performed and a two over finish was uh, was pretty good, I think. Let's see what we do on another nine holes on the Faldo course. Anyway, thank you for watching. Again, put your comments down below. I'd like to know uh, your sort of feedback and how you relate to what I've just said. Is it something that impacts on your own game personally? And what is it that's, what, what's the main thing in your own game that you recognize that you need to work on to help you make a better score? Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you all very soon.